hello guys so on this channel i will be doing some unity tutorials and today i will be going to teach you how to use raycast in unity raycast helps you to detect collisions in unity and they are a very useful thing on this channel we will also be doing a series of tutorials of useful techniques and things hopefully you will like it you can also give me ideas what type of tutorials you want and I will be also showcasing some of my games on this channel. Okay, so let's begin. We will first add drag the image sprite to the Unity scene view and we will name it ground. And then we will add a box slider to it. So first we now we have to resize it so it looks like a ground. And then we will change its color to black. After that, we will have to position it somewhere here. After positioning, we will create our player again by dragging the image sprite. And then we will name it player. And then we will resize our player. After resizing our player, we have to Let's change it color to somewhat mm, red color. Okay. So our player is ready, but first now we have to add some box slide. We need to add a box slider to it. And now we have to add a rigid body to it. So if we now right now press play, it will just fall to the ground. So there is, we can't move our ball player. So if we see the player is right now, it looks like it is floating on the ground. So to fix that, we will adjust the ground collider. Reduce its size. And just make the layer of ground to be one. So the player now perfectly merges with the ground. So let's now create a player script to move our player and to use Raycast. So we can just create add component player script new script create and add. Then we can edit it with Visual Studio. So first we will have to declare a public float speed and we have to declare a rigid body 2D and then we have to point RB towards our rigid body of our player. So this line points towards our towards the rigid body of our player. So we can use this rigid body to move our player. So if the player presses keyboard A, you can put dot get key key code dot A. Our player should move towards left. So to move to move towards left, we will use RB dot velocity equals new vector two. So vector two basically takes two values. One is the x axis and one is of the y axis. So, in the x axis value, we will put the value of speed and we will add a negative sign since the since when the player is moving in the left to the left side, it is moving in the negative x axis. So, and in the y axis, we will just write rv dot velocity dot y since we don't want to bother it. And then to move towards the right side, we will write else if input dot get key key code dot d. Then we can copy the statement and remove the negative sign. So we have put our movement code. So let's save that and. We have to 
just assign a value oh I'm sorry I just added the player script to the ground so let's move that and now add a player script to the player so now we will assign a value to speed let's assign it value of 3 so after adding the value of 3 we can move our player perfectly fine okay so now we can move our player we want also to detect collisions so to detect collisions we will use recast to use recast we will declare our recast hit 2d and name it hit down and then we will use physics 2d dot recast and then trans the origin of the recast should be from the player so we will use transform dot position and the direction of the ray cast should be downwards so we will use minus transform dot up and then the distance of the ray cast should be distance we have to declare a public float distance so we have our ray cast ready so now we have to detect if the ray cast hit something so we will use if if hit hit down dot collider is not equal to null which means it is hitting something hitting something's collider so now we will write our code here so right now we just want to test whether it is hitting or not so we will we want to retrieve the name of the collider it is hitting so let's write debug dot log hit down dot collider collider dot name so it will just print the name of the object it is hitting downwards so let's save that we can also do that for shooting raycast from the left and right sides this raycast is being shot from the downward side of the player so we can also create the raycast for the left and right sides so we can just copy this so if hit left dot collider is not null we want to do the similar function just change the name okay now we will just copy it and make it hit right and So now these three raycasts will be shot from different directions. One will one will be shot down to the downward direction, one will be to the left, and one will be to the right. So let's just test. So right now the raycasts are hitting the player itself. So to fix that, so we have to add a layer mask to the player. So the raycasts don't hit the player itself and ignores the collision with the player and hits the ground so to add a layer mask first we have to add a layer you can add a layer by pressing add layer and then you can write the eighth layer or ninth whatever layer you like layer in my case i am writing it in the eighth layer then i will assign it to player after adding the layer we will go to our code and declare a layer mask int layer mask equals one so what this this line does is this if we use this layer mask in our recast so what this will do is it will just collide with the eighth layer and will not collide with anything else 
the regash will not hit anything else it will just hit the eight layer but we want it, the opposite of it so to make it opposite you will use layer mask equals layer mask so what this line will do is it will reverse this line it will so now the regash will hit everything except the eighth layer carefully enter this sign since it is not a negative sign it is the symbol which is on the left side of digit one on your keyboard okay so now we can add the layer mask to every ray cast okay now we also have to add a distance value we forgot to write the distance value also let's add some walls to the scene ball one resize it let's duplicate that okay now we have two walls let's name it wall 2 so let's detect collisions so now you can see that it is printing name ground so our ray cast is working perfectly fine and if you go to the right side it prints wall 2 which means it is colliding with wall number 2 and similarly if we go to the left it will print wall 1 you can see here so our ray cast are working fine you can change the value of distance so like I assign it 4 so it, it detects the collision of wall 1 from a distance of 4 units similarly it detects the collision of wall 2 within the range of 4 units okay so that's it for recast thanks for watching i hope you liked the tutorial and if you have any queries you can comment down and i will surely reply then you can also suggest me some topics on which i should make the next video